Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka okay, the one only Nick's Games, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to live stream to Hitbox.tv. First off, you want to come up here to your browser, and you want to go to obsproject.com. That is a link in the description, so if you do want to go check that out, you can. You want to download OBS, click download. It'll download it, you can install it, all that awesome stuff. Once it's installed and you open it, it will look like this, except none of this stuff will be here. So the first thing you want to do is right click on scenes, add scene, and then we'll just keep that name. Then you want to right click on sources, add whatever source you want to add. In this case, I'm just going to add monitor capture of monitor 2. Okay, so there you go. That's that. Now you can hit preview stream and it'll show up what's on monitor 2. So stop preview. Now we need to go to settings and set up your settings for Hitbox. First off, you want to go into encoding and hit the x.264 encoder with UCBR. That's very important. Make sure everything else is like that. And now we need to move on down to our bitrate. I typically stream at a 1700 bitrate, which is just over 720p. 720p is 1600. Uh, 1080p, I think, is 2500. Don't quote me on that. And then anything below 1600 is 480p. So there's that. That's what I would recommend 1700 for 720p streaming quality. Audio codex AAC, 48 kilohertz, stereo, 128 bit rate, that all looks good. Broadcast settings, this is where it really gets down to the down and dirty. You want to go to live stream, then you want to go to hitbox.tv, and then you want to click the server that is nearest to you. For me, that's going to be US East, and then you want to go to stream path slash key if any, and you want to go to your hitbox.tv channel. Okay, you want to log into hitbox. And then you want to click on your picture down there and then go to live stream. From there, you want to go show stream key and it won't be blanked out like it is for me. And you can control C, copy that, and then paste that right there. Once you've done that, you can then go to video and save those changes. You want to make custom 1280 by 720 base resolution with no downscale, keeping it at 1280 by 720. Go on to audio. Click whatever audio devices you need to hear from me. It's the Blue Snowball and the desktop audio device, which is just, you know, the default audio. After that, you want to go to Advanced. Leave all this the same, except that can actually be unclicked. So there's that. And there you guys have it. Those are your streaming settings for Hitbox.tv. Now if you hit Start Streaming, it will make you go live on Hitbox. And you'll be able to start live streaming instantly. And um, yeah, you'll be able to go to Hitbox and see your stream and all that awesome stuff. So go ahead and follow me on Hitbox, hitbox.tv slash nixgames. And uh, I stream there three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. It is awesome. Go check it out. Nevertheless, guys, I'm Nick's Games. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I'm out. Peace. And here's some videos you guys might want to go check out. On the left is a blast in the past, in which I went back and played some Modern Warfare 2. I sniped. I almost got a nuke. It is amazing. Go check it out. Actually, I didn't almost get a nuke, but I did go flawless, so I would have gotten a nuke. If I had a nuke equipped, but I didn't have a nuke equipped, go check it out. It is awesome. I think you guys will enjoy it. Also, I got the video video on the right of your screen, which is my announcement for me streaming on Hitbox. It's a great video. It tells you where you can find me on Hitbox and all that awesome stuff. Anyway, guys, I'm Nick's Games. Check out the daily vlogs and bombs over your screen, and I'm out. Peace.